My name is Barbara Jackson, and I funded and founded Monkey Biz in the year 2000. My name is Matapelongaka. I've been with Monkey Bees since day one, since it was started. They call me Matabs, <laughs> short way. I'm Shirley Vince, and I founded Monkey Biz with Barbara Jackson and Matapelo Nyaka. I'm a sculptor, I'm a ceramic artist, so is Barbara. That's, that's kind of why we got the whole thing together. I think that all the patterns are amazing. Yes, we love what you do. Thank you very much. So I'm very proud of being South African and the South African aesthetic. It's beautiful. I realized that people were suffering and they needed to provide themselves with some form of income. There's a lot of lack of jobs. That is the most thing that we really serious. And the people are starving. Essentially, we're an art beat project, but we set it up to alleviate poverty and illness in South Africa. Now we're working at the township of Makaza, the biggest community for monkey bees. Here I'm just taking you to some of the houses to see the to see some of the artists and their houses. We're gonna just come in here. This is the mother and the daughter, they just doing bead working here. We found a few artists to begin with, about two, and then um, the artists found us. My name is Nam Modi Tabula. I've got four years here at Maji Business. They give me a hope and my family and the community. Once we started with Monkey Biz and the artwork, we really connected with the communities and we realized how they were struggling. People were dying of AIDS. People just didn't have enough nutrition. So with our profits, we provide services like an AIDS clinic, soup kitchens at every bead market day. Before 1994, there was not even one brick house. Today, there's a many. Poverty is still high, but monkey bees make a huge difference, but we still need to do more. The sun is a, a lion. On the time of apartheid, the beadwork was dying, but now the beadwork coming back again, really they feel proud. Traditionally, beadwork was for adornment and not really three-dimensional. We wanted to contemporize um, bead work as an art form. The people live in these townships and maybe they've got some chickens and goats, but they, a lot of them were born in the township so they've never seen animals except for a few stray dogs and cats. We had to show them pictures. They didn't know what a lion was. That is why we get quite um, distortions of the animals. It's because they've never really actually seen one. I mean, we love it. We love it because it's, it's more creative and it's more offbeat. Every piece that comes from Monkey Biz is an artwork, and every woman signs their name on the back of a tag so that when you're buying the artwork, you know who made it. So that if you're collecting, you can seek a special artist. When I see those artists coming here at my mom's house, bringing those artwork that they feel proud of themselves to make those, and they know that at the end of the day, they're gonna have some money from that. I feel very good and I'm feeling happy to see the difference that we make from the people at the township. 
they then get a meal um, which is provided by a, a caterer who lives in the township as well. Then those animals are brought to the city and then we assess it and um, we deposit the money into each person's bank account. We needed to educate everybody about having a bank account and I mean people there they want to see the cash. They want to, you know, they want to see the money that they're getting. So we had a whole process, which was also quite empowering and quite an amazing part of Monkey Biz, that everybody's now got their own bank account. After a year, we were like, okay, we put about 400,000 Rand of our own money into this project and we both got a really cool collection of dolls. And nobody was really responding in the way that we thought. It took a long time, but once the work was out there, people started to notice it. I don't know what happened. Energetically, something shifted and suddenly we got our first big order from America. We called it Monkey Biz because Barbara and I felt like we were monkeys in the whole world of business. We just thought we were going to help a couple people create a cool product that we will buy and our friends will buy, but it just went wild. <laughs> I think that fortunately we kind of reaching cult status where people are really attracted to the animals and their uniqueness. We were in Sotheby's, we had a sellout exhibition in Sotheby's like about four or five years ago. We've exhibited in many galleries all over America. Monkey Biz helps women to help themselves and they create artwork that provides income to the communities and makes people strong. Allowing women to express themselves from the townships is probably something that they never thought they would be able to do. And we can see that it, it really touches a lot of women's soul. Monkey Peas changed my life too much. I've got a lot of things and my children went to school. I was not working and then Monkey Peas changed my life. It's kind of given people hope and before there was no hope and now we're teaching the woman to dream. To buy a piece of monkey bees make a huge difference because from the start when someone make that piece, make a piece with a love. And you know to buy in that, some of the people they, they don't buy in that for because they're feeling like sorry for the people. They really buy in that because it's a unique and it's made originally by the artist in South Africa. And it's made a huge difference because the people, at the end of the day, they're gonna have a living from that artwork that you buy. A lot of people want to help charities, but they don't know how to. And Monkey Biz kind of helps people to do something, whether they come and volunteer or whether they buy our artwork, they helping and they putting their money into something good. Thank you.